Right, you guys, got another video here for you. This is another TV box called the Mikul MAS Pro Amlogic S912 3 gigabyte DDR4 RAM, 6 gigabytes of ROM uh, TV box. Now, let's take a look at the specs here on the back. As you can see here, we have an 8-core uh, CPU on this one. Also, is the Amlogic S912. Um, also, we're having uh, 3 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and also 16 gigabytes of ROM on this particular TV box. Uh, it's got a 4K, 4K capability at 60 frames per second, HDR and uh, H.265 uh, supported on this one here. And this is the MAS Pro version. So let's take a look what's inside the actual box itself. Now inside you're going to get everything you need uh, to run uh, your TV box and you can see we've got the instructions here. This is going to give you all your instructions on how to set it up. It's pretty easy to do. And you can see here it is in English and uh, also colored pictures which makes it nice and easy to understand and set up. You've got all your information about how to set up your remote control and how to use it and also how to set up the TV box there. Now also you're going to have your power adapter. Now if you're in the UK you're going to get a free pin power adapter like this one but if you come from another country you'll get the uh, particular type of power adapter for your country. Now also you're going to get yourself an ethernet cable which is a nice decent length on this one and uh, you're going to have your remote control. Now this remote control will work the unit perfectly fine but I always prefer to use one of these particular types of uh, remote controls because it's much more easier to use and uh, much more user friendly but if you want to use the uh, remote control that comes with a kit it works perfectly fine okay but I will leave all the links in the description uh, for you if you want to purchase those. So let's take a look at the actual unit itself. As you can see, quite a small nifty little design here. And uh, it does accept Bluetooth and also Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Android 7.1 comes as standard on this box. And it does have the Mali T820. You can pause the screen and read all those specs. Plenty of ventilation on this little unit, as you would expect, because it's quite small. Uh, you've got your AV port, your Ethernet port, your HDMI port, and your power ports on the back here. Also, on this side, you're going to have two USB ports and your SD card slot there, which takes up to 32 gigabytes for extra storage if you need it, and some more ventilation. On the bottom, you've got plenty of ventilation and the three gigabytes of uh, DDR3 and also 16 gigabytes of flash memory on there as well on this particular unit, which is about £55 uh, in English money, which is a 36% off the original price. So let's boot it up and have a look at it. So you can see it's made by Meekle, which do make some pretty good TV boxes. And for the money, this one performs pretty well. And you can see this is the MAS Pro version. You can add apps on the front here if you wish. And you've got a lovely uh, graphic user interface, very easy to use. So let's take a look. You've got the bottom bit here, which gives you the, the Wi-Fi and also USB ports and Ethernet if it's plugged in. And your SD card. Uh, thing there. You can see when I've just uh, connected the uh, Wi-Fi it just lights up green. So let's go into the settings here. Nice little settings panel here. You can see I'm connected by Wi-Fi uh, and I'll just show you how that looks. You can see you've got Ethernet here you can connect up to as well and uh, the settings is pretty nice. It's pretty much the same for all the TV boxes really. Uh, they're all pretty similar uh, but this one has uh, also Android 7.1 uh, Nugget or Nougat or whatever you want to call it, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, but you can see we've got the screen resolution here. This does accept 4K and 2K uh, resolution on this box um, for streaming and stuff like that, if you want to do that or playback. Let's have a look at the About. You can see it does have um, the 7.1.1 uh, version on there. And also we have the Kernel version and the build version here as well. Now also you can uh, update this to the latest version when they release them. It has plenty of languages, up to 24 languages I think this one does have. As you can see here, I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, pretty much it'll have a language for whatever country you're in now, I should imagine. Uh, so let's open up the uh, browser here. I'm just going to do a quick uh, browse here. And it browses okay, even on Wi-Fi. Works pretty well, as you can see here. And I'm pretty far away uh, from the router, so as you can see, I'll just load this page up, and this is not cached, as you can see here, and it works pretty well. So let's close it off and back out of here, and uh, we'll take a look at something else. Now you can add some apps on the front menu here if you want to, uh, but we're going to just take a look 
at some of the uh, apps here what you get now I've installed some of these here but this is where you're going to get all your apps uh, you've got a movie player here and also update this is going to allow you to update your unit so if you have fatal crashes or freezing of your TV box you can wipe it and put it back by using that update method there also you've got MX player here Netflix is also pre-installed on here and YouTube uh, so I haven't got a Netflix account but if you did you could stream content down I'm not sure you'll be able to stream 4k content down through Netflix don't think that would uh, allow you to do that on this TV box uh, but you've also got uh, your Google Play Store and app installer as you can see here uh, Miracast works pretty well on this unit also which allows you to basically uh, mirror your Android phone or your iPhone or something like that straight to the TV screen and uh, you've seen that pretty much on all the TV boxes it works pretty well now also what we're going to take a look at here is some other bits and pieces and we're going to have a look at uh, YouTube first and stream some 4k content now this don't allow you to download or stream 4k content it only allows you to stream up to 1080p but I'll just show you the 4k content here we're just going to do a search for 4k content and uh, push uh, enter and uh, it streams okay even on Wi-Fi here but we're not getting the true 4k here but the picture quality looks pretty good and there's no shuttering or stuttering on the stream as you can see here pretty smooth and as you can see here the streaming is pretty smooth here now if you wanted to check the uh, HD here you can see it only goes up to 1080p here so uh, it won't get 4k through YouTube on this TV box now if you want to go to the Google Play Store you can set up an account and you can download all your games applications and even Kodi I'll just quickly show you how to download Kodi now most TV boxes nowadays or all TV boxes won't come pre-installed with Kodi uh, because with all the third-party add-ons because it's now illegal in this country to sell those TV boxes uh, so that's the reason why most TV boxes nowadays don't come with that installed with third-party add-ons but it is totally legal to download Kodi yourself and use Kodi as long as you're not streaming illegal content via uh, third-party add-ons you'll be fine so as you can see here we're going to boot this up and uh, I'm going to show you some uh, sample files to show you the content how it looks and how it plays so let's go into the video samples here now these are very complex uh, samples which do take a fair bit of uh, the coding to play smoothly and I'll show you what it looks like in uh, Kodi here and these are coming off of a very slow USB flash drive and you'll see they play pretty smoothly so let's start up Jellyfish uh, 3 megabits per second as you can see here very smooth no issues whatsoever and uh, once the buffering settles down it looks pretty smooth and now we're going to do 60 megabits per second 10-bit uh, file this is HD so we're going to fire this one up and have a look as you can see pretty smooth also no issues there which is nice now also remember guys you don't have to play these uh, through code uh, through code you can plan through any sort of player really so let's do 90 megabits per second and 10 bit and you can see here it will play these pretty smooth as well and they are all the same file but they're different codecs and different uh, uh, resolutions and stuff like that and so it will test this machine uh, to the max okay and as you can see it looks very very smooth indeed no issues whatsoever and again if these files were on the actual device or on an external hard drive it will work perfectly fine now this is 120 megabits per second and also ultra HD 4k and you can see it plays that very nicely indeed and another one people like to see is the 60 frames per second Sony uh, sample here and you can see no no stuttering here no juddering or anything like that nice and smooth as you would expect and this TV box does play 4k content as you can see here at 60 frames per second because that's what this video is so all in all pretty awesome so let's uh, run some benchmarks here just to show you some benchmarks although you guys like to see that so we're going to run a CPU benchmark first using their Geekbench and uh, we're just going to run this one and I'll skip this part so it doesn't bore you to death and uh, you'll be able to see the results and there it is on the single core 477 and the multi core is 2438 as you can see and let's run the uh, the complete benchmark here I'm just going to quickly run this one so you get an overall score 
and uh, once this is completed you'll get the full results now again there's many benchmarks out there and you can see you're getting 1792 on the rendering uh, side of things here which is pretty good uh, for this particular box and remember it's only 50 uh, five pounds in the UK so as you can see this one does come with eight cores and it's the Cortex A53 at 1.51 gigahertz and uh, it does have eight cores and Mali T820 which is going to allow you to play some games on here which is really good for a $70 box or 55 English pounds so as you can see here we've got the M8S Pro version uh, it does have 1920 by 1080 pixels but it will play 4k content and 2k content as you've seen in this video pretty smoothly it does have some internal storage and you can also expand that as well another added bonus does come with Android 7.1 on it no root access on this uh, TV box and also you can see the thermals here are 59 Celsius they're a little bit hot because I've just been running some benchmarks and, uh, and that's pretty much that for uh, the CPU Z now if you're interested in games I'm going to just quickly show you some games but I have run some other games on here as well and they run pretty smoothly I'm not going to bore you with showing you all those but they're all smooth and they all play pretty good so if you're interested in a TV box at affordable price uh, about $70 then this one could be the one for you and uh, that's pretty affordable really for a cheap uh, type box which uh, plays a lot of good content and 4k and games so all in all I'm pretty impressed with it anyway I'm going to wrap this one up I want to thank Banggood for sending this one over for review my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now Thank <laughs> you.